Hello students. In chapter one, network fundamentals, our topic is types of connections. In this topic, we will see how our computers are connected, how the computers are sharing or using a particular wired or VC channels to which they are connected. One another name for this topic is also line configuration. Line configuration. Okay, let's see. Types of connections. Here we have two types of connections. In a network, two or more devices connected to the links. A link is a communication channel or the pathway that transfer data from one device to another device. There are two possible types of connections. One is point to point connection and second is multi point connection. Now let's see first one point to point connection. Point to point one connection is a dedicated link between the two devices. In the given diagram you see our two computers computer one and computer two are connected by a link. That link may be the wireless link or maybe the wired link. This link may be the wired link or the wireless link. They may be connected directly on the two ends of the wire or maybe connected in a complex network. They may be the part of a network, but the channel through which they are connected is only dedicated to communicate for the to these two devices. This point to point link may be made through some type of intermediate devices like here is our computer one and this is the router one this is the router two this is the router number three and here's the, our computer number two and so this particular channel this one this one this one this one is the dedicated link through which this computer one and computer two are connected here we have these intermediate devices, maybe the router or maybe the switches. The masses in the forms of packets are traveled from the center of the computer one to the computer two. Let's see two simple examples of this one. When we change a television with the remote, we change the television with the remote. Means we make a wireless connection between the two devices. One device is remote here and the second device is television. This is a point to point wireless connection. Second, if we discuss a printer, this is our PC and we connect a printer, a printer through the wire. This is a point to point wired communication. So these are the two simple examples to understand point to point. Now one important point is this particular channel or the link is only for these two devices then the capacity of the link is fully reserved for only these two devices means they are fully used this fully used the capacity of this channel or the wire this wire is not shared by anyone okay so they communicate here in the both the directions or one by one it's depend on these two machines communication now the second is multi point multi point we understand the name means multiple machines are connected through the wire multiple machines are connected through the wire here you see this is our switch or router and device and this machine is also connected to the same link. This machine is also connected to the same link. These all machines are sharing this particular wire. The communication channel is shared by machines and packets are sent by any machines is received by all these machines, all these devices. So to identify who is the sender of the message, who is the receiver of the message, we need an address field and that address field is attached with the package or the message 
Upon receiving a message, machine check that address field. If the packet is intended for the receiving machine, that machine process the packet. If the packet is not related to that machine, just ignore the packet. Example of this one is see a simple LAN connecting two or more computers. Two or more computers. Here you see this is a LAN cable or the Ethernet cable through which these old devices are connected. In the point to point, we discussed a point the channel capacity is fully reserved for the only two devices. But here this LAN cable is shared, means the capacity is also shared capacity. Okay, means the channel is shared, then the capacity is also shared. This sharing is depend on which type of access control is present here. So depend on that access control, the channel is shared. Access control helps us to make our communication effective. Means the packets are received by the receiver without any loss. The packets are not dropped by the router or the switch due to the collisions. The packets are not lost in their channel due to some type of noise or distortion or any break in the cable. Okay, so let's understand this multi point communication. Let's take a simple example. In general, you see in our classrooms, we have a teacher. In classroom, the teacher is teaching. Teacher is teaching. And so many students are here. So many students are here. Teacher called a student with name Rohan. So all these students listen the name Rohan. All these students listen the name Rohan, but only Rohan will respond. The other just ignore. In the same way, multi point. Only the particular recipient accept the packet, other machines just ignore the packet. Okay. Okay. On the comparison of multi point and point to point, what are the particular advantage you observe on the multi point connection over a point to point connection? Please think about it. Simple example. For the simple point, we say that first advantage of multi point over point to point is ease of installation. Ease of installation means we easily add a connector to the wire and connector device through a drop link. Second thing is low cost. Second point is low cost. Means so many devices are sharing the channel, means cost is very, very low as compared to a wire only for two devices. So, these are two advantages of multi point over a point to point communication. Now, go for a question when two parties are communicating through a local telephone communication, then what do you think about it is a point to point communication or it is a multi point communication? Just understand and try to answer the question. Pause the video and think about it. Now, the answer is simply we say here we have a party 1 and here the party 2. These two parties, they are communicating locally, local phones. Means in hotels, you see generally this one is room number. 701 and here is the manager room guest call the manager for some service so they are communicating here point to point because they are communicating locally they are communicating locally the connection is local a dedicated line is established between these two persons this is the concept related to the type of connections Based on this, we will discuss some other important topics in the coming videos. So, please try to understand this one very well. Thank you.